Buddhism is basically a, um, it's not really a religion, it's more like a, a philosophy that originates from China, and it's what the, uh, the monks practice, you know, like the Dalai Lama, they practice that, and, you know, a lot of the uh, ancient Chinese stories, it's all based on Taoism, uh, even the stories like uh, Shang-Chi, a lot of that is based on Taoism as well. Who here has heard about the story of the empty cup? I think this is pretty popular. So there's a master who invites one of his uh, friends to have tea with him. And then the scholar is bragging about how much knowledge he has and how uh, you know smart he is and how many, many things he's memorized. And as the master com continues to pour the tea, uh, the cup starts to overflow in this scholar's cup. And then the scholar says, what are you doing? Why are you pouring all this tea in my cup? It's overflowing. Then the master explains, well, your, your cup is so full with your own preconceptions that you cannot learn anything new. So I think that's a good example or a good story that reminds us to keep our cups empty, which is to have the attitude, we don't know what we think we know, or at least we don't know what we don't know, right? Because as intelligent or as much experience we think we have in our lives, compared to the knowledge and the wisdom of the universe, we actually know nothing. And even scientists, even the top scientists in the world, the smartest ones are the ones that realize we actually know nothing, or infinitesimally small uh, amount of knowledge compared to how much knowledge is out there in the universe. And a lot of it, we don't understand. Most of it actually we don't understand, we can't explain. So once we start to have that attitude, then we start to open our minds, then we can actually grow as human beings, and we can actually grow our wisdom and knowledge. The more in, you know, knowledge you gain, you realize the less that you know, the less that we understand about our universe. So the problem with a lot of the Generation Z is that you have so much information, you, know, you think you know everything, you understand everything, which is good, I mean, have the knowledge but you don't have the life experience. You don't have a lot of the struggle or the, basically the progression of life that a lot of us Gen Xers or, or uh, people, you know, people older um, have. So 